After Japan achieved naval dominance over the Russians in the Russo-Japanese War in 1905, particularly at the Battle of Tsushima, Japan realised the need to compete with its remaining naval rivals, the United States and the United Kingdom. Japan's planning culminated in the 8-8 Fleet Program, a plan for eight battleships and eight cruisers, to form the foundation of a new powerful navy. However, the launch of HMS Dreadnought in 1906 was a big leap forward in naval technology, and HMS Invincible, launched in 1907, also gave Japan pause. Their latest battleship designs had been made obsolete. The ships in the 8-8 fleet program had to be re-evaluated. The Kawachi class battleships were the first product of the program, laid down in 1908. The program's progress was slow, so in 1910 the Navy appealed to the Japanese Parliament to appeal for enough funding to cover the entire program at once. Economic restraints meant this wasn't possible, and after several amendments, the 8-8 program had been cut back to a single battleship and four battlecruisers. The battlecruisers became the Congol class, and the single battleship was the Fusor, although a sister ship would later be laid down. Following the design of the Congol class, Japanese naval designers now had access to Britain's latest ship designs and incorporated much of what they had learned into their own new battleship design. The recently launched American battleship USS New York was a ship that the Japanese wanted to surpass, particularly its 10 14 inch guns and its 21 knot top speed. The final design the Japanese produced, weighing in at around 29,000 tons, was armed with 12 14 inch guns and a top speed of 23 knots. The design was finalised and Fusol was launched on the 28th of March 1914. Her sister ship, Yamashiro, was launched on the 3rd of November 1915. Her main armament consisted of 12 14 inch guns and 6 twin turrets. These were the same guns planned for the Congor class. Secondary and anti air armament was identical to the Congor. Eight 152mm guns along each side of the superstructure and four 76mm anti aircraft guns. The unusual turret arrangement limited the firing arcs of the guns and meant the ship had to be longer, increasing its weight. By the First World War, the fore and aft configuration was being adopted by virtually all other major naval powers. But according to the Japanese designers, the six turret design was preferable for offensive combat as a larger number of turrets can engage more individual targets. Propulsion was similar to the Congor class, water tube boilers providing power to direct drive steam turbines, producing 40,000 horsepower. As constructed, Fuso's armour belt was 229 to 305 mm thick. The turret faces were 280 mm thick, and the decks were a maximum thickness of 51 mm. Unable to build new battleships due to the Washington Naval Treaty, Japan refurbished its existing battleships. In April 1930, Fuso's first modernization saw the addition of a pagoda style mast. Mounts were added for new 127mm dual purpose guns, and torpedo bulges were added. Her propulsion machinery was renovated, increasing horsepower to 80,000, and her top speed increased to 24.7 knots. Armour covering the magazines and engine spaces was improved, as was the turret barbette armour. The maximum elevation of the 14-inch and 6-inch guns was also increased, improving maximum range. The addition of a catapult to the number 3 turret allowed the launching of aircraft. Further modernisation occurred in the following years. The stern was lengthened to increase speed, improved rangefinders were added, and anti-aircraft armament was built up. Both ships patrolled in World War I, and both acted as training ships in the interwar period. From 1941 to 43, the ships had no engagement with the enemy. They sorted in support of major operations like the attack on Pearl Harbor and the Battle of Midway, but Japan's carriers had supplanted the battleship as the primary offensive naval weapon. On the 8th of November 1943, the submarine USS Halibut fired torpedoes at the carrier Junior. One of these hit Yamashiro, but failed to detonate. In June 1944, in response to the invasion of Saipan, Chief of Naval Operations Shigenori Kami suggested he take Yamashiro and beach her on the island, planning to use her as an artillery battery to ward off the invaders. This plan was cancelled when Japanese forces in the area were decimated in the Battle of the Philippine Sea. Fuso and Yamashiro's first and final engagement with the enemy came in October 1944 at Surigao Strait. 
the Japanese Second Fleet was preparing to engage and destroy the American forces invading the island of Luzon in the Philippines. Admiral Nishimura intended to sail a southern force, consisting of the two Fusor-class battleships, the cruiser Mogami, and four destroyers, through the strait to link up with Admiral Kirita in the north and support him in the Battle of the Leyte Gulf. On the 24th of October, while approaching Surigao, Nishimura's force was spotted by a flight of aircraft, including TBF Avengers and SB-2C Helldivers, launched from the USS Enterprise. Fusu was bombed and strafed, 20 sailors were killed, many of them by a bomb that penetrated the deck near the bow. Nishimura continued his push towards Surigao. On the early morning of the 25th of November, PT boats and destroyers began to harass his force. Shortly after 3am, Fusol was hit by a torpedo, possibly two, and began to list as she took on water. She slowed down and broke formation, the rest of the fleet continuing without her. The flooding couldn't be controlled, and only 40 minutes later, she had disappeared beneath the waves. There's disagreement over her final moments, whether or not she broke in half before sinking, but the rapidity with which she sank meant very few survived the sinking. Only 10 sailors managed to swim ashore out of a crew of around 1,600. A few minutes after Fuso had disappeared, the rest of Nishimura's force came under fire from a large American fleet waiting for them at the northern end of the strait. Six battleships, five of which had been sunk at Pearl Harbor, salvaged and repaired, eight cruisers and 28 destroyers. For seven minutes, Yamashiro was the sole subject of an overwhelming bombardment from 8-inch, 14-inch and 16-inch cannons. She was ablaze from end to end. Despite the onslaught, she steamed forward, engaging the close US destroyers which had been firing on other Japanese ships in the force. At 4.04am, an explosion rocked the ship, probably caused by one of the turrets exploding. Around the same time, she was struck by a torpedo. Nishimura still continued, even as more torpedoes struck his ship. By the final torpedo impact, the list had reached 45 degrees and the order to abandon ship was given. Only five minutes later, the ship rolled over and sank, her radar signature disappearing at around 4.20. Admiral Nishimura had gone down with her. As with Fuso, there were only ten survivors. The rest of the force disintegrated and the survivors fled south. The Battle of Surigal Strait had been the second and final battleship versus battleship engagement of the Pacific War, following Kirishima's fight with South Dakota and North Carolina in 1942. The Fuso class's limited involvement with the war was reflective of the dying era of big gun battleships dictating battles. Supplanted by carriers, the Fuso class battleships, which were quite obsolete by World War II, had a restricted influence on fighting in the Pacific. Their dramatic last stand at Surigao closed a chapter in the history of naval warfare. Never again would battleships duel on the high seas.